sometimes you can need an audio filter and then I mean audio sound filter that has to make speech better intelligible and this is the circuit to do that job the circuit is by the way not ideal uh, I have here made three potentiometers that you can set uh, when you want to make speech or audio better intelligible and especially for audio that could be important because say uh, the bandwidth where speech is uh, heard much better by the human ear is in this range from 2 kilocycles up to 4 kilocycles. So that means that all the low frequency frequencies can be cut off and also the high frequencies can be cut off and still speech is very good intelligible. There were many scientific studies in the past by Philips for instance uh, uh, the Philips laboratories in the 1950s etc etc they studied, studied this effect and this was also uh, say uh, found out by radio amateurs in the past so uh, to transmit speech on short wave or long wave or uh, whatever frequency uh, this limitation in the audio bandwidth is very helpful so this is the third video by the way that I make uh, the other two ones were also very okay but perhaps I have switched on on my mp3 player a tiny piece of not copyright free music so I had to do it all over again this is the third time anyway keep optimistic uh, I've used here uh, an op on the TL071 you can also use in this circuit uh, 741 op amp and there are three potential meters here this and this and this they set the frequency band where it works and of course not only because there are here two very very important capacitors C1 and C2 they are now 10 nanofarad but you can do for instance an experiment to change these two capacitors or one of them to 100 nanofarad that is 0 0.1 microfarad so the aim of this video was make speech perfect intelligible with the help of a simple uh, filter unit op amp filter in this case and well the schematic again and let's go to the demo at first sound uh, by the way at first the the circuit on the breadboard here is the TL071 here are two capacitors of 10 nanofarad here are three potentiometers of 1 mega ohm uh, the output of the scope that's here uh, and I hope I can demonstrate now at first the sound of uh, speech so the speech has a quite broad frequency band the human speech between approximately 20 Hertz and approximately 18 kilohertz uh, but like I told it uh, to make it better intelligible especially when you want to send speech audio signals um, over transmission lines or uh, in cases of smartphones 
through the air on high frequency transmitters, the bandwidth has to be limited. Of has to be limited, does not have to be limited, but is often limited because of all kinds of arguments. Geen sprake van ongelijke gevallen. Misschien, uh, ik weet niet wie dat wil vertellen. Ja, ik denk dat het huis daar net bent. Ja, dat is inderdaad natuurlijk een beetje die discussie ja. dat mensen zeggen van ja, maar er mag toch gewoon onderscheid worden gemaakt en wanneer is dat wel, wanneer is dat niet gerechtvaardigd. Ja. ja, in dit geval. Zo, so, and I'm gonna change now the settings of the three potentiometers. Let's listen. Natuurlijk immuniteit, ja. maar ook het feit dat zowel gevaccineerd als ongevaccineerd het virus ja. kunnen doorgeven. Ja. Dus eigenlijk is het een ja, schijnveiligheid die wordt gecreëerd. Ja, ik wel een vergelijking heb. Maar nee. En hier, hier de, de, de audio speech is uh, absolutely at its best properties. With cutting off all the high and the low frequencies. So that we get into this specific audio frequency band. So, uh, that was more or less all to show, and I want to uh, try to connect, and now, now uh, music source on this digital mp3 player of Lenko, say it is an mp3 player of uh, 20 years ago, anyway it works, and when I start this music and it is copyrighted, I will immediately stop it. So let's listen. I have of course a preset this mp3 player to a certain music part, but anyway. Oh well, this is okay. Luckily this is okay. In my two earlier demos this didn't work. This is copyright free music. And let's turn the three potentiometers and listen. Lot of distortion now. I don't see it on the scope. Anyway. So, I think this was more or less convincing. Thanks for watching. Um, that was more or less all to tell. Let's look at the schematic again. Here it is. You could directly see that the three potentiometers have a very, say, good or sharp effect on how the audio frequencies are suppressed or not suppressed, say, lifted up in a certain part of the audio band. That is the aim of this uh, uh, schematic. And important, it is a very Simple schematic. It's not ideal. So, uh, could be that you uh, 
uh, must make some minor changes to get somewhat better results. Good advice. Use for C1, not a 10 nanofarad capacitor, but a 100 nanofarad capacitor or a 50 nano, nanofarad capacitor. And also, you can do that with C2. Use 10 nanofarad, 47 nanofarad, or 0 0.1 microfarad, all non polar. Um, Thanks for watching.